Jeffrey's met a woman. Finally, <laughs> he's been so horny. <laughs> Don't fall for it, Jeffrey. Don't make the mistake that so many young. The woman that Jeffrey was with asked him a very simple question that most young men, including yourself, answer wrong. He was taken aback by the question, he stuttered, he stumbled over his words, and then he answered in the way that he thought she would want. So why did she look so disgusted by him? Why did she just suddenly lose all of the attraction she had for him? It is in women's inherent feminine energy to test men. And that is actually a good thing for you. Adonis. Adonis passes all tests with ease. Just like I tested positive <laughs> for chlamydia in high school. <laughs> Adonis' woman, Anastasia, tests him ruthlessly. And from the outside, you might see this as weird. Why would you test Adonis? He's the ultimate man. But Adonis knows why. He has grown so much because of these tests. It's actually for his own benefit. And it's also for the sense of security and certainty in his woman. You know for a fact that the more you improve yourself, the more you become successful, attractive, confident, the better quality of woman that you're going to want in your life. And also there's something that a lot of young men don't actually know. If you're right now like a medium or a low tier guy and there was like a high value woman who really wanted you, you'd fucking jump onto it. No problem, no questions asked, you'd jump onto it, right? Well, if you find a woman who like jumps onto you and commits to you straight away, Chances are there is that bit of a value deviance. As you start to attract better and better and better women, you'll notice that they kind of want more of you. They ask for more of your commitment, they respect themselves more, they generally don't have sex with you as fast as possible. And chances are with these women, they're actually testing you and you may not have been consciously aware of this. A woman tests her man to make sure that he is that kind of guy that she has the perception of in her mind. She will see if you can be moved off center. Now, what does this practically, like no BS, what does this exactly look like? Well, she knows you're on a diet. And then she says, let's go get some ice cream. Straight away in your young male brain, you don't want to lose this woman, you don't want to upset her, and you know, like, oh, if it fits your macros. You know what's interesting? Women aren't even aware that they're testing men either. They aren't consciously aware that they do this. She genuinely wants ice cream, and she wants to share that experience with you, but she can't help but have this kind of subconscious realization, some thought deep inside of her, which kind of clicks and says, oh, he is supposed to be on a diet right now, but he's just shown a lack of discipline. Hmm, I'll bear that in mind. Now that's a very autistic way to look at this and it's not gonna be the death of your relationship. But slowly and surely, these will kind of be like checks against you. You want to display discipline in the things that she knows you value. And this is where it will get tricky because she will really want to share that experience with you. You will really want to share that experience with her. Sometimes you do have to take a hit to like her image of you. But it's very important to maintain that image of yourself in your own mind to think no, no, I'm the disciplined guy who doesn't really need it, even if it's going to be a nice experience. So then you say to your woman, OK, let's go get some ice cream. I'll get you whatever you want. Don't get it for yourself. She'll offer you a couple of bites. Absolutely fine. Enjoy it. But don't get it for yourself. Don't fucking pick out on like 400 calories by yourself. Then she'll remember that. Hmm. But the truth is that our brains haven't evolved that much from thousands of years ago. No matter how much society has evolved, our sexual attraction to each other is still based on like our fundamental, natural instincts. She needs to know that you can't be moved off-center. She needs to know that she can trust in you and your word. 
So why does this happen specifically as you begin to attract better women? Well, as you become more successful, your standards for your partner go up. And when your standards for your partner go up and you're attracting like higher quality, more productive people, well, their standards also go up too. If you want a better woman, you have to become a better guy. Share this video with the Jeffrey friend who needs it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.